Hey again, I'm Elizabeth and I'm here to share with you Where is everything? Fun with body mapping. But today I'm actually not going to tell you what we're going to be exploring. I'm going to see if you can guess, but I will give you one pretty good clue. And it's right here. Whoa, this is about a nine pound bag of apples. It's pretty, pretty heavy. I usually ask the children, what in your body weighs about nine pounds? And they'll come up and they'll pick it up and give us some pretty good ideas. So what do you think? Well, if you guessed head, my friend Bob is here to say, yes, <laughs> that's exactly it. Our heads weigh, an adult head weighs about nine to 11 pounds. And we can see here just what is a head but let's find out on yourself. So we can start doing a little itsy bitsy spider walk from your ears to the crown. Your head has a crown. Take a little journey around your head. Wow, my head feels different already. How about you? Well, if our head weighs that much, how does it stay up there? We must have to hold it, right? Come on, let's play with holding our heads. I think I would probably kind of move like this. Yeah, if I'm holding my head, that's pretty much how it would go. But this feels kind of awful. This can't be right. Whew. But what if we don't hold on to our heads? It might, it might fall off. Well, I, I don't know. Let's see. Join me. Oh. Well, I don't know. It's not falling off. How about you? That's a really fun game to play with the children. Check the floor. There are any rolling heads around, but no, we're good. So we don't have to hold it. It's not going to fall off. I'm not sure what, and what do we do with it? Gosh, it's, it's heavy. And I notice if I look back, oh my gosh, my head goes backwards. And if I look down, Whoa, it kind of leads our body, huh? What if my head was like an arm or a leg? Whoa, it's like counterbalance. <laughs> Pretty fun. <laughs> okay. So it's feeling a bit lighter. I don't feel like I'm worried about it falling off. Feels kind of floaty. Oh, I have an idea. Let's look at this part right here between your ears and behind your nose. You have the back of your head and that's where your head balances on top of your spine. Well, it makes me want to play with what is balance. I think our head really likes balancing on top of our spine, between our ears and behind our nose. Your eyes look Just letting the weight of the bean bags pour through your body. The 
This is really fun to work with. So if I hold my head in place, oh gosh, that was interesting. If I look down, whoa. Oh, if I look up. Playing with balancing in that way, you get a lot of really interesting um, observations from the children on what is balance? What is our sense of balance? Once you begin to collect what those words are, they're usually all around movement. And that's helpful to bring your awareness to, that we're never balanced, we're always balancing. And your head is never balanced. It's always balancing. One last thing I really enjoy. Another puppet. You can make a skull puppet and a jaw puppet. Hmm. Your jaw has your bottom teeth and your skull has your top teeth. Your skull is separate from your jaw and they both balance on top of your spine. It's really fun. <laughs> and then I offer some handouts to the children of the different skulls and the jaw and the spine and they cut them out and color them in and make their own puppets. Um, so it's a really fun little project that they can do. And lastly, what's really fun about starting off with the apples at the beginning of the lesson is that you can end with the apples when you're wanting to teach about the jaw. Bye for now. Huh? We have a really big surprise. He's usually kind of shy. All right. Ooh, spiny, it's okay. I know, we haven't met these people before. I know, you're a little shy. I know. It's okay though, you wanna turn around? You wanna get a little closer? Spiny um, teaches us that our eyes lead and our spine follows. When Whoa. Whoa. And our spine is slinky, like a spring, spirally, flexible, and our pelvis is there too. <laughs> anyway, hello. I usually do teach this when I'm teaching about mapping the head. And then we turned it into a really uh, fun game. Yeah, I'm going to tell the game. The children get in size order, which is also very fun for everyone to kind of measure themselves with their hands and find size order. Each child is going to be a vertebrae. So they'll have the smallest children in the front going up to the largest children in the back. And I tell them that the, you are the cervical spine, and you're the thoracic spine, and you're the lumbar spine. And we have a sacrum, and we have a tail. And then one of the teachers, who becomes the head, puts on this. So you put on these little googly eyes. <laughs> And then you are leading the line of children and you can lead them all around the space, all around the room, and they all have to follow. And then the last child gets a tail that you can tie on to a belt strap and then the tail <laughs> follows. This game can be really, really silly and fun. Bye for now. Thank you.